Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the second video of the Full Disclosure Navigating Your Career as a Person Who Stutters series. I'm excited to talk to you again about disclosure. In the first video, we talked about disclosing your stutter on a resume, how you might do it, why you might do it, and I gave you some ideas and some potential ways to go about it. In this video, we're gonna talk about disclosure again, but we're gonna talk about it in the context of disclosing on a job application. Now, for some of us, this might be a foreign concept, like you would have never thought to disclose on a job application. Um, so I'm gonna walk through how that might look, how you might do it, and also talk about some of the benefits that you would get from disclosing your stutter on a job application. Later on in this video, I'm gonna actually go through an example of how you might disclose or self-identify as a person who stutters on your job application and also share some of the insight that I found from people I know who work in talent, ac aqu talent acquisition and human resources on you know, how this might benefit you as a candidate and also be um, a positive for the overall candidate experience. So stay tuned, we're gonna get into some really great content for this video and I'm excited to share it with you. All right. Here we are in the second part of the video. I wanted to navigate to an actual job application so that you could see how it looks when a company asks you to self-identify or disclose your disability on a job application and also what this information is used for. So I found this job with Included Health and it's for a project manager. So I'll scroll through this application to give you a sense of what it may look like on a job application when you are applying. So we can see here they ask for the typical things. They want you to upload a resume, include your name, identify what pronouns you use, all of that kind of typical um, information to identify who you are as an applicant. Now when we scroll down to the bottom, and typically you'll find the question to self-identify if they're on an application they're typically towards the end so that's where you'll look for them i'm going to scroll here we'll see a few different options for identification so the first is you know for you to identify your race um, and gender you'll put that information here self-identification of veteran status you'll put that information here and then towards the bottom you'll see voluntary self-identification of disability now what i like about this one is they tell you hey here's why we're asking you to fill out this information um, it may vary from company to company how much detail they put but i really like the transparency here they're saying hey we have a goal of having at least 7% seven, 7 of our workforce being people with disabilities. Um, and the law really says that they should be measuring their progress towards this goal. So that's why they ask applicants and employees to identify if they've ever had a disability. This information is purely to you know best serve the needs of their candidates whether it comes to accommodations during the job interview process or application process, and also employees to make sure that they are providing an equitable experience um, for all of their employees to allow them to do their best work. So, you know, if you've ever thought about, hey, on an application, why is this question here? Should I fill it out? Um, or what is this information gonna be used for? As I've talked to talent acquisition people, they have said, hey, on our end, we're not able to see what an individual employee or an individual job applicant puts. The data is um, aggregated and there's so much data, we can only see you know, how many of our applicants or how many of our employees identify in this way. And it is not a punitive, 
you know, way to put a mark on someone, but it really is to make sure that they're serving their um, employees and their applicants well. So I encourage you to, if you've ever seen this information on a job application and wondered, hey, what's it for? Or is there any benefit for me putting this information in? You know, maybe consider in the future why you'd want to do this and the benefits it may have not only to you, but to others as well. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Until then, be well, and I'll see you later.